on. Okay, here I am. Okay, cool. All right, then. All right, so oh, I know, isn't this $15 join? Holy crap, tastic. So here's my thought. And so, and it doesn't matter where anybody is, but mm -hmm. what, I, what I was thinking is, how fun would it be to do like local? So you and I could do this, and any director could do it with anybody. It doesn't have, I mean, it doesn't have to be a director. Anybody can do this live. But let's say, and I don't have my head wrapped around the complete details, but let's say we have a um, random date. Uh, let's say, join us May 25th for a super fun Cincy Opportunity Night. $20 includes all you can eat food, snacks, uh, fun, game, activity, blah, blah. Oh, and your own business. And then when they come, of course, we're going to just have testimonies and food. And the money really is for them to join because it's about 20 some odd dollars after tax. And they join right there on a computer with whoever sent them. And I was thinking if they, we have invitations that we send out really fast that have our name on it. So when they come, so if somebody couldn't come and let's say, um, um, like, Cassandra wanted to come, but she had to work. And if they had an invitation for Cassandra, then I would know, oh, you're with Cassandra. And then I would help them join on Cassandra's site. So we would kind of just do that for each other. What do you think? Yeah, I do. Here's somehow. Here's the deal. And that is to me, time is of the essence because right. the sooner they do it, the sooner they can qualify for the levels. And not only help us, but to help themselves and help get more people signed up with them. The other thing is, I'm thinking that we might, with Aladdin coming up, that we might just get an Aladdin something. I don't know. It's just, you know, just a guess. And that's not going to last long. Uh, nope. And you've got to be on board and be aware of how to input orders and all that kind of stuff. So they can take advantage of getting their customers to buy those. So time's of the essence, as far as I'm concerned. Right, and so the only reason why I just went that far in May is just so we had time to, and I wasn't thinking a hard invitation, even though we could, each individual could do their own, but I was thinking if we did uh, like an Evite or um, uh, that event, Brent, right, event, or they could pay and then we give them their money back to join right then that night. You know what I'm talking about? Whatever that service is called. I don't know or what that was. Electronic. Okay. It doesn't have to be a physical postcard, but it could be done electronically. So that was the only reason why I went there. So I'm looking at my calendar. Um, you know, also we could just say, well, they have to have $20 on their, or they have to have what locally 2650 on their card. I think, I don't know. I can't remember if Idaho is a state that we pay tax on shipping or not. No. We are not? No. So for a startup kit, it was... It's $10 shipping. $10 so. and then the 6% tax. So it was one fourteen. So whatever the flat fee is, and then it, it is um, tax on the $15. Okay. Okay. So we're looking at 16, 26, 14 or something like that. Yeah, and we could say whatever amount. I just thought, gosh, it, all you can eat, so I'll do pizza or meet at a pizza parlor or we can, you know, or we can meet at someone's clubhouse or house and have a buffet or I don't know, but I just thought, oh my golly. And then when they get there, oh yeah, you get to start your own business. So why don't you bring a favorite graduate? Because what a great gift it is to give a graduate a gift of a, their own business. And then any, and anybody and everybody who is interested, then we can just sit there and make a business plan with them. If that's what they wanted. Just get them the idea that you just started your own business. You have a tax write-off to get yourself to college right now. This will pay for your travel. Oh yeah, but make sure you talk about Cincy or whatever. I am looking at a calendar and I'm thinking of pay dates also, you know, ah, good. that they could then uh, have money on their cards or whatever. I mean, if they give us money and we turn around and give it back to them, it's not like we are giving them money that's going to be immediately loaded into their account. They've got to have that money in their account with their debit card, for instance. Yeah, Credit so, card is different. So then just pay at the door. Yeah, not really going to pay, but right, right. Okay, so here's another thought. Get this. So I'm on the lines that you're thinking too. How can we get them going and set them up to boom and bang and make a huge statement at first and even earn the incentive? Because these newbies can totally earn one of these incentives, yeah. one of the slingshots. So if we did it around the um, 16th or 17th, which would be yes. next week, 
That's on a weeknight because I figured weeknight yeah. could get any audience. Um, I think 16, I Thursday night, Thursday night, I think might be best. Okay. So, so I don't know if this is out yet, but when I was on the workstation under the business reference tab, I saw uh, terms and conditions of a whiff box contest. Have you heard anything about it? No. All right. So all of us amazing mentors go to your business tab. It was the first thing and it was, Around the 15th of this month, since he is apparently having a contest and your name goes into a drawing for every whiff box, for the customer. So customers who customer. join up for a whiff box, then their name goes into a drawing. There's 200 and some odd prizes for, I forgot what it was, but I went, oh my gosh. But I didn't want to announce it, announce it until I understood it. And I wasn't hundred percent present when I read it. So I'm going to go back and read it tonight. But then if that's the 15th, then we'll have some more stuff to share with our people at our event night. And those of us who are not in Idaho, who can you do this with? Where can you do it? What are your ideas? We want to, I mean, I don't, I don't know. I don't have my head wrapped around it. I just think it'd be so exciting. You know what? Do you still, you've gotten rid of almost all your business supplies that you don't want, right? Almost. Yeah. Doing well. What if maybe you could scratch up a few? I'm sure I have some. Anything that so that almost everybody is leaving that night that comes with something to help with their business, even if it's even if it's um, a mold, you know, to make oh, samples. Yeah. Door I mean, prizes, like yes. door prizes, business supplies, success. Yeah. What else? Yeah. Ooh. Okay. Here, here's what I would love. So tell me what you think. And then anyone listening to the recording, oh my golly, we want to we want to hear from you. How about, I don't know what your timeline is, Bonnie, but can you, um, we just sold our house, by the way. So now oh, we're having, good. I know, just earlier in the week. So now we're kind of in this different zone. And so I want to do it all. <laughs> Can't turn my head off, but I got to do that. Can you make up a mock invite? I'm not good at that. What? Do you know what I mean? You and I will, you know, you, all of us will tweak it, make it one big fun, and then come up with a way on the on the M and M page to uh, how we're going to disperse it, and then whatever we come up with, then anybody anywhere around the country can use it for their local area and change the date and the location. Okay. All right. So fun. All right. right. That's what I'll, we'll give do. It, I'll give it the first round. That's all I'm asking. Get, just get us going. That's the hard part. Okay. And then you and I can talk and anybody who wants to, Holly, anyone locally, if we just do one big, you know, it doesn't have to be big. There might be five of us, but so what? But if we all do it together, it, it, that energy with more people is a little bit more Great. exciting. I'll get Lindsay involved and possibly Matt or Stephanie because they have a couple people that they're working on. Okay. Um, what if we do, I'm thinking out loud with you right now. What if we do a fun challenge or incentive? If you bring five adults, then you get this. Anybody and everybody, if you bring, whatever, three adults along what do you with think you. They'd get? Huh? Then, what do you think they'd get then? An automatic door prize or? Yeah, they'll get, they'll get something. I mean, I, I do have, I mean, whatever. Heck, we can get them, I can give them product because that'll help them with their business. You know, right. um, yeah. I got a lot. I mean, I can give them, gosh. I mean, yes, you will get something to make your business boom. And that will cut away. Because then that way it could be product or business supplies. Because I'll round up stuff. Right. Ooh. What do you so, think? Yeah, three people, I think so. Three people. Let's go with three. That's not quite as intimidating for some people. Okay. All right. Um, ooh, ooh. Then at the event, we want them to hop on, join, so we can all celebrate their business name, their website. Right? Oh, that'll be so fun. Oh, what's your business name? What did you get it? Let's hear it. Let's write everyone's business names down. I love that. And then we'll have them make a family tree. There's got to be five people in your world right now that you think can hop on board for 15 bucks and we'll walk them through it. Oh, I love that. You're writing all this down, right? Because I'm thinking that way. Yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> oh, right. This is so fun. Um, yeah, because then that way we get them started basically on their list of 100. Is that what you're thinking? Yeah. Kind of deal or thinking. Five people of, in our world. I think anybody anything. can come up with five for $15. Yeah. His balls. Yeah. I know. It's just kind of like, are you, why are you even second guessing this? I just, I just have been texting a friend in Texas that is retiring after 43 years of teaching PE. And she has 
always had a side gig. She's from Houston. And I told her, I said, oh my gosh, you've got to do this because you have such wide and deep contacts through all your things. Ah. This is a no-brainer for $15. And she said, you know what? I am finally thinking I'm not going to have a side gig. I'm just going to let it all go because, and then she says, well, you know, and I said, okay, you get $26 of usable, immediately usable product. So if you don't even like it after four months, and that's what you get is four months, then you still got the stuff. Come on. So it's just kind of like, it's such a no brainer. Um, I don't know why people even second guess. Although I said last night, you know what, if somebody wanted me to join a jewelry um, deal, I wouldn't want to do that. But A, they have to buy a lot of inventory. We don't have to buy any. Oh my golly. I've reached out to more people than I can possibly think of that are all my really good customers. And to me, it is stunning that they haven't hopped on yet. But I know their wheels are turning. I just know it. But maybe this, that's why I was thinking locally, oh, well, let's just get them there and they can decide for themselves. Yeah. I um, had three yeses yesterday and not one of them has signed up. Yet. <laughs> and I have, yeah, exactly. And I have been face to face with them. And, um, oh, I'm going to ask you a quick question. I yeah. have a gal that's super busy. She's got a brand new house that they're moving into the first part of June. And I told her, I said, Hey, you, if you want to, she did a basket party. And I said, if you want this party back, I'll give it to you. And you join for $15. She had a $200 party. And I said, you know what? You can even get it shipped to me. I know you're super busy with your job and moving and trying to meet all the contractors at the last and blah. If you ship it to me, is that going to get me in trouble? Is that OOC? No, it's good. Okay. No, you know, it, was, it wasn't, you weren't bribing her or offering her or something that not, uh, not everyone, it's not on your car, it's on hers. You're just basically offering a pickup right. spot for her. Right. Yeah, and I can take care of all of it and get it all organized and labeled and all that. So anyway, um, so are we looking at the 16th then, Thursday night? We've got to come up with a hard date. Yeah, I like that, don't you? I do, because I think... I wouldn't be surprised, but what we don't have Disney something next week. I don't know. I mean, I because isn't the movie released like on the 23rd, 24th, 25th, Aladdin? Hmm. Yeah. So, um, yeah, well, let's shoot for the 16th. Okay. Um, and then, uh, then you and I and Holly and anybody locally, so we can do this off the line, off the recording. Um, where? Okay. Remember when we had that one um, where we all brought our different uh, samples and we traded and that was just on Meridian Road right off the freeway. Yeah, let's, no, that's what I mean. Like you and I can decide this when we're not on the recording. Oh, well, in fact, I'll, wait, let me just stop the recording. But we do want to hear from any m and Mers what your ideas are, dates, times, thoughts, prizes. Um, how else are some good lures to get them in if they think they're having to pay 20 bucks, blah, blah, blah. So share that with us on the m and page. I'm going to stop the recording. Okay.